Well, hello and welcome to another segment of More Than a Conqueror. We are so happy that you're here with us today. And I'm Karen, and today I'm joined by the lovely Miss Tracy and Miss Deshawn and Kathy. And we're all here to talk about things concerning women, single mothers and specifically, which we all are, and um, just life, right? We're all okay. doing life together. And pretty well, may I say. Yeah. 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 High five. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> And we're in a good mood today, but we want to talk about something that affects everybody, especially if you're trying to follow the Lord in your life, and um, that's the enemy. We call mm -hmm. him, what do we call him? We call him the devil. Mm -hmm. Can I say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> call, it, call it what it is, the devil. And, you know, the Bible says the devil wants to steal, kill, and destroy, right? Mm -hmm. And we've all had incidents and times in our season, sometimes in our life, when he's trying to do that to us. Yeah. And um, we just want to talk a little bit about um, how do you fight that, overcome that, what are our tools when you hear because sometimes it's just like that little cartoon there's a little angel over here and there's a devil over here mm -hmm. and you hear these voices and they can drive you crazy mm -hmm. yeah. and even make you do some stupid or unfortunate mm -hmm. things right mm -hmm. so, right right so we want to have tools and we have the word and we have fellowship mm -hmm. but I want to hear from you guys like what are some of the things you do when you know you're under attack when the enemy is really picking on you and um, you want to you want to hear God over that that ugly voice. So, who wants to tell me what's the solution? Okay. Of course you would. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I know that he attacks me the most in the morning, mm. and um, that's when I'm the most vulnerable. That's when I'm just getting up. That's when I'm looking forward to the day, and all of a sudden a lie will mm. come in my ear. And it's usually something about me being a single mom or being unlonely or not raising my daughter well or, you know, something to that effect. And um, I've learned, it's probably only the last couple of years or so, that I've learned that it's him and not myself because I think sometimes his voice will sound like ours and we oh, actually yeah. think it's us. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I do, um, or I try to do is, like, write on a postcard or an index card, I'll write... Um, something that the enemy says to me. Right, yeah. A lot. And then on the other side, a scripture. Oh, that's good. This is this is God's love for me. This is what he has for me. This is what his plans are for me. Something something peaceful to counteract what he has to say. That's good. Because that's this good. is our sword, right? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Not that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right. It's, yeah. it literally, it really is. Lately, yeah. I feel like I've been like, <laughs> 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 right. He's like, watch out. The enemy attacks me through... Um, men like I have been boy crazy since I was a little girl and so he knows that's my weak spot and so he preys on that and yeah. so when I'm doing like extraordinarily well like studying and just like really in my zone he'll send like old flames um they always say everything I ever wanted him to say they always come back first of all it's shocking but they always come back and they always say what I wanted them to say back when I was crazy about them. And so I realized I'm just always like, no, 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 you know, and I have to remind myself um, above all else, God, my heart. And that used to, I used to think, what does that really mean? You know, like, what does that mean? It's so ambiguous. But I realize now, like, if I don't guard my heart and choose wisely who I let into it, then I will be prey. And like, he will steal my dreams, my goals, my future, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my blessings. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's just remembering like, I'm God's daughter, I'm a princess. Mm -hmm. I am, you know, I deserve all the gifts he has in store for me. That's right. And, I, and the only way I can remember that is by reading his word. Mm -hmm. That's so important. That's right, that's right. I, right. I have this image of you as a little boy crazy little guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Watching that's... soap operas with my grandma. <laughs> like, that's right, well, you know, we've TV, I tell yeah. you. Yeah. I know, <laughs> we don't have TV at my house. Yeah, that's one thing, like in the morning when that voice comes in, sometimes the TV can mm -hmm. be the, the mm -hmm. what do you call it, the catalyst yeah. of mm -hmm. the devil, things yes, like that. Yes, absolutely. You have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. What you let what in, you your let mind, in, right in your heart. That's yeah. what it is. And even the phone, like you get, I always have the people, I keep their numbers in my phone, certain people I don't mm -hmm. need to talk to, and then I put like, no, mm -hmm. That's <laughs> awesome. to Next remind myself, name. like, don't pick it up, or you know, whatever. Wow. But, um, Those just like, delete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that, yeah, all these things you can do, and you really have to be proactive, right? Mm -hmm. And Sean, what are some of the things that you you do? Um, well, for me, um, there's uh, the truth. You can't um, battle the truth. Mm -hmm. There is no negotiating the truth. There is no uh, discussing or trying to um, um, make it fit. The truth is the truth. And so as soon as I hear something that I know um, that doesn't make me feel good, that doesn't make me, yeah. um, or that, that makes me feel um, 
that I am not good enough or adequate enough. I compare it, like what Kathy said, I compare it to the truth. Mm -hmm. What does the truth say? Mm -hmm. um, knowing the word of God is so important That's to right. follow Christ. Studying it, staying in it, no matter how you feel. It's not about how you feel. Um, and just recently, um, we went to, uh, we had an amazing event at our church, God Chicks, mm -hmm. the God Chicks Conference, and it was incredible. Awesome. But it was so funny, and, and um, I say this, and I'll get to this, but I didn't, so going there was a challenge. The enemy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. This story. It was, so by, it was just, it was a challenge getting there. Yes. So by the, by the time I actually got there, on the bus to the to the church, I was like, I don't want to go. I want to go to I the remember. beach. I <laughs> remember. And I had my oldest daughter with me, and she's like, Mom, you always tell me that when you don't feel like doing something, then that's when the Lord is really going to bless you. And mm -hmm. so I said, okay. And um, Absolutely. And so what I told myself was that I was going to make my actions opposite of my feelings. That's good. And so... That's the enemy will toy with your emotions because they're they can go up, they can go down, they're not they're not stable, they're not you can't rely on their they're not reliable or anything. So I wasn't going to choose to react on my feelings. My feelings were saying, isolate yourself. My feelings were saying, mm, you're not really gonna get anything out of this, so you really don't need to go. Or your feel my feel you know, and so lies, I said, you lies, know what? lies. That's yeah. right. That's Regardless of what lie. I'm hearing, I am going to choose to do something different. And so yeah. I did the exact opposite of what my emotions were saying, and it was one of the most life-changing experiences oh, no, ever. Yeah, of course, of you course. Know. And yeah. like, take that, devil, okay? Right. But yeah. that's the thing, and so we have to go. We have just very little time left, but there's so many great things that you guys said, and mm -hmm. I think bottom line, it comes down to you guarding your heart mm -hmm. and speaking God's word, because mm -hmm. the devil knows the God's word you as well. We know the right. word. We Speak know this, word. so this is the tool that we need, and fellowship, mm -hmm. our prayers, mm -hmm. just talking to God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, telling him what he said. He loves mm -hmm. that when you say, God, you said that all things work right. for good, or whatever the situation. That's right. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. So, now we know what to do. We do it, thank mm -hmm. God, right. and we will continue. And then I also, just one last thing, I think it's very important for us to know that just because we're women of God doesn't mean we don't get attacked. Absolutely. I think sometimes Amen. we beat ourselves up for being attacked. Um, right. When you, uh, one of the messages that God checks is that when you walk into the promised land, you can expect to hit a wall. Mm -hmm. So when you are walking in the will of God and when you are doing what he has asked you to do, you can expect an attack and it comes Absolutely. harder and stronger and it doesn't make you less of a Christian. It just means you got to get in God's word more. It yeah. just means you have to get on your knees more and that God is with you right there fighting along. And it means you're doing the right thing. Right. Because exactly. the enemy doesn't yes. mess with somebody who's <laughs> yeah. in the world, getting drunk, just right. having a good time. You're not a threat. That's right. right. He'll mm -hmm. let you go. And so we just say, get behind me, Satan. Come on. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. And God is a wonderful defense. And so we're grateful for that. We're grateful that you were with us today. We hope you come back. Thank you, Kathy, Tracy, Deshaun. I'm Karen, and we'll see you next time on More Than a Conqueror.